All right, it's allied second player turn, and uh, we'll do your reorganization phase. But uh, in that, we won't be we won't be doing anything. Uh, so we move down here to the supply phase, and we'll explain that here right back. All right, well it says allied player moves units that are in supply. Luckily. All units that are in cities or towns are in supplies. So I'm going to check that out real quick. We got that. All right, so for the second player turn for the allied player, he's not going to do any of these. And the thing of it is, for attrition checks, you don't have to check for attrition for units that are in cities. So that'll get me out of that one. And partisan units are always in supply in their own country. I do believe so we will go down to the and I thought about moving these partisans and give me another victory point but that should have been done during the uh, movement phase they have to have a supply unit with them to uh, expand to be able to move during this phase so that was like kind of missed out on an opportunity there oh so now we're going down to the central power second player turn We'll see if he wants to do any of these. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have to do. We'll have to do them all. Optional. Uh, optional. 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 Required. We back. Central Powers reorganization phase. And in the uh, Central Powers reorganization phase. Uh, they will convert static supply to mobile supply. And down here, our little caravan has been switched over to static and he has a three hex range, thereby supplying this cavalry unit in Kuwait for any possible um, uh, movement or combat to come. So that's what we will do there. Now, uh, reorganization build units. I have expended those two caravan units and built me the Baghdad station. And like they say here, oh, if I can find it, oh, construction, Baghdad station. It says, oh, what is it? They had a designer note. This marker represents general improvements in the structure, infrastructure, in the central Mesopotamian area. Mesopotamia, yep. It provides no rail bonus move, movement, but it does give me two uh, recruitment points each mobilization phase, so that'll help. And that is what we have done during the reorganization phase. Of the second central powers reorganization phase. All right, let's see here if we want to do any more. Build infrastructure and entrenchments. No entrenchments yet, I don't think. Plus, I have to blow a um, supply point, and I don't or a supply unit. I don't want to do that, so we'll skip that. So we'll go down here to the uh, movement phase. We'll see if we want to move any of these guys that are going to use this supply unit. But if we do, we expand the unit. But everybody in a port is supplied or don't have to check for attrition. So if we move out of there, though, we will. So we might not. Might be an incentive just to stay put. Ain't nowhere to move out until we get reinforcements anyway. So we will be skipping that phase. No combat. And check for attrition. Uh... I guess I could check for attrition with him, but I have to spend that unit. So we'll check that for attrition right there. We'll be right back. Checking for attrition for the Ottoman cavalry inside of Kuwait. We're on the Ottoman base. But oh, gotta go to the tower. It's a one. Ones are wild here lately, no effect. So he is good to go. Next, have a sequence of play. That'll be your first turn, I think. 
Oh. Such a power, second player turn, attrition check, end of turn. Actions. Space. Last gate turn. Each player's second player turn does not have event mobilization phase. First turn. Do not have attrition check phases. Yeah, we know. All right. We are all excited because that'll be it. But first, we'll go to 4.0. Be right back. All right, and all that is actually is our victory check condition. And the only sudden death victory would be if, we, if one player owns all these uh, victory point hexes. So that will be it. Game turn marker turned. It is now the winter and spring. The cool and wet time, I would imagine, fighting season in the Persian Gulf or in Persia. Be back. All right, well, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. It is downright miserable in my neck of the woods. Uh, we got rain. Rain and a lot of rain. So everybody's kind of stuck inside, which is a real shame. <laughs> When you're a war gamer, it's one of the great things about lockdowns and bad weather. We can definitely cope. But, uh, yeah, it's going to get cold. Turn to ice and maybe some snow. Yay! But the holidays are over, so I can do without it. But we're back here with the beginning of the Allied first turn, or the Allied player turn. And this time they get to roll for events. So we will check for events. And uh, event reinforcements cost zero, zero recruitment points. All right, so we'll put it back over here. It'll be a first time using the allied event table. Something what size a one? Oh, where we go? We got a four. Oh, it's a person situation. Huh, what does that mean? Ooh, what do we got here? Alright. Only if Turan is ally controlled. It is not. Where's good old Tyran? Over right here. Tehran and Iran. Or back then Persia. I guess Iraq is Mesopotamia. And Persia is Iran. All right. Deploy only if terrain is supposed to carry. This don't even apply then. No events for the British player this turn. Huh. All right. What do we got going on here now? As you can see, we got a little bit of World War One stalemate going on there. Nobody making any moves yet. But I do want to take advantage. Do something I didn't do last time. We will mobilize, gain recruitment points, and then expend them to mobilize units. So we will get one, two, three, because that's an improved port. So one, two, three, plus a die roll. Oh, yeah. Big. Nine recruitment points. Up from zero. And uh, look over the rules, make sure we're doing this right, and buy us some units. We'll be right back. All right, so here's what I'm purchasing four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. How many did he have? One, two, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go. That's more like it. I forgot how much these cost. These were two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that will take care of my units. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then that cavalry division cost me three, which will put that down to zero. All right. And there's a plan. There's a plan. You can see I'm going for units that have a high... Uh, movement rate because a lot of victory points 
back east. We'll be back. All right, everybody coming in here at Avedon. Might have been a good idea for the old Ottomans to have laid siege, figured out some kind of a, flipped the unit on over to a static. Just thinking, just thinking. I could have spent them for attrition to keep her full strength and kept those years from coming in, so it might have been a strategic mistake on the part of the Ottomans, but they are there. They got a nice boost in supplies and cash or quiche. All right. We're going down to ruralization. Build units, supply, blah, blah, blah. Build infrastructure, railroads, and entrenchments. We'll be back. All right, we have an important difference here. And let me explain it to you. The only good railroads in use are these black railroads. And I don't know if you can tell here, but that railroad is in blue, which means it's a rail unit head that can be built. Now, if that was the case, my supply unit couldn't have made it down there. But these guys are okay because they're in uh, Basra. And a supply source so they don't have to check for attrition these guys check for attrition but yeah this rail line hasn't been built yet so there you go but they still use the road bonus and in it here they went down to Basra and made it using the road bonus the only ones that couldn't have made it were the uh, low slow moving camel caravan supply and they would have went uh, a third of their movement would have been one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three. So that would have been it for them, but everybody else would have made it. But yeah, I was just looking at this, wondering about the railroad. Had to do some looking, but the only established railroad is right here. And this one won't be established until the Brit British can go here and start building it up to uh, Baghdad. We'll be back. All right, I believe that'll be it. LA player conducts the phase and sequence below, converts static and supply and mobile, vice versa. I don't flip till I want to flip. Reorganize and build, none of that'll be happening. Build infrastructure, won't be doing that. No, won't be building any railroads or any entrenchments yet. So then we will go up here to the movement phase. Be right back. All right, first off, game notes to be made. That is that the Central Powers player is going to lose a recruitment point for not having this garrison. Now, the designer of the game says that represents all the irregular forces that are involved in the conflict. So, got to keep these garrisons or you lose a recruitment point. Uh, don't know if he had a choice, but uh, now he knows. Uh, another thing, we have just moved. And out of, let me zoom in here. Uh, Abaddon, Abaddon for the British. We are getting mobile and attacking with some armored vehicles. And we got a bunch of supply. Now I thought about just attacking with the cavalry unit and sending the mobile units out wide. But by the time they got here, they might as well just participate in the attack and see what's going on here. So they have come out of Abaddon and, uh, are attacking some uh, pro central power partisans and uh, they are I guess just a combination of infantry and cavalry I think that's what that symbol re represents but here we have the combat ready to go British have 12 combat factors versus the Ottoman 3 that is a 400% we'll look under here under the 400% table. And the British will be ready, ready to roll a dice. Uh, got the British dice going on. Let's get out of Zoom so everybody gets, don't get sick. I noticed that when I watched I'm like, ugh. Get out of Zoom. So here we go. With a three. Uh, three we have here is going to be the yellow. That is Defender Retreat DR. We'll be right back. All right, the, the uh, defending unit owner 
retreats his unit one hex and he can't retreat into an enemy zone of control, so he's still going to be on the road blocking me from any, uh, any big advance. Uh, I believe that'll be it for the uh, combat. Let's look here real quick. Oh, central powers, movement combat phase. Uh, we're on the Allied first turn. Organization, movement, combat. I believe that's going to be it for the combats, and uh, it'll be a central powers event phase. And we look here on the board, turn this unit over. But uh, we've got the big push for uh, Eastern Iran, Tehran, and up here by the Caspian Sea. So we'll see what the Central Powers response will be, but not having that railroad is a big negative. And we're going to be short because we didn't garrison those old event phase coming up. Central Powers, be right back.